When writing links in Markdown, often it's nice to give the link a title so that readers have more information about what the link is for. Let's take a look at how you can do this. So here I have a basic Markdown link. So we have the text that's going to be shown and then the link destination here. And if we want to add the title, that's just some additional metadata that we're going to add into the link. We can add a title by going after the link destination here and just going and adding some double quotes and then the title text. So we'll go right after the link destination and add two double quotes. And then inside of those double quotes, we're going to add the title text. So we'll say, my fancy title. And now we've defined a title. Again, this is after the closing paren, which closes out the link. So at this point, we've added the title, but where is it actually showing up? Because over here in our rendered markdown, the link still looks exactly the same. Well, the title shows up if you hover over the link. So if we went and let's say we're a reader and we wanted to learn more about this link here, all we have to do is place our cursor on it and wait a moment or two. And you can see that a tooltip is now showing with the title that we added. So we can see my fancy title is showing up in that little tooltip. You can use the title tooltip to tell users what the link is for without actually changing the link text itself. So it's a little bit of a more subtle way to provide this information. Now, when writing these titles, I typically will use the double quote syntax here, but you can also use some alternative syntaxes as well. So instead of double quotes, we could actually use single quotes, which you might prefer. And this can be useful if your title contains double quotes. So you can see that this is going to be rendered the exact same way with the single quotes, get the same hover behavior, but now we can also go and include double quotes in our uh, title itself. And this will now be rendered with the double quotes. Uh, if we were using the double quotes here, so if we went back to this form, uh, you can see that the link is actually not going to be rendered correctly. We'd have to go in and escape the double quotes. It's just not gonna look as nice. We can add backslash escapes to go and uh, escape things, but now our text is pretty ugly there. Um, so I prefer using these single quotes if you ever need to include double quotes inside of the title. And then finally, one other form you might see is that if you really just don't like quotes at all, you can use parentheses. So I could go in here and add some parens. And again, the benefit of this approach is that now you can use either single quotes or double quotes inside of the title, and those will show up properly without having to be escaped. The behavior of all of these is exactly the same. It's really just about what characters have to be escaped inside of the title. This title format works for all different types of uh, markdown links. So you can see a standard link like this, the title works. Uh, it also works for reference links where you're uh, using a link definition and you can even use it for images. So I'll go in here and let's go and add an image. So I'll just go and add a cat image here. Uh, and then I can give this a title. So I'll say a cat. And when I hover over the image now, just using that same title syntax, you can see that I get that tooltip that's telling, that's showing the title that I defined. So you can use it for images and normal links. So that's a quick look at how you can add titles to links in Markdown. These titles can be a great unobtrusive way to give readers more information about your links.